Hi, I'm Kelsey Lee Roberts and you're watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. Welcome to the wrap of day seven of the XX Commonwealth Games here in Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo and this is Glasgow Gold. Now today we were on national telly, we saw the biggest queue we've ever seen. Kim Mickle chucked out there for a gold medal as well. And Jumpy, he's gone missing. Huge day, Robbo. Yeah, lots to take in, Mossy. And again, uh, you said it was a big day. I don't think we've had bigger yet, <clears throat> have we? And uh, I've, there I've gone and lost my voice once again. Um, and I can tell you why. But first of all, uh, we, yes, we did appear on Sco on STV. Is, I think it's Scotralia TV. <laughs> it's only been going the last few days, but they invited us in for a little piece on the Riverside show. So Robbo, we're here on the River Clyde, we're in front of this big building, what's going on? Mate, this is STV, and they've requested the presence of Jumpy and ourselves to do a little piece. We want to learn all about Scotralia, let's head in, tell them all about it. Mossy and Robbo show. Well, we finally made it, Mossy. We've got, uh, there's the tartan couch, we've got the lighting, we've got a kitchen even here. Uh, it's good to finally be treated with the level of respect we want here in Scotland. Yeah, well, there's a fair bit of uh, respect shown here, Robbo, but I put out there that I would like a bit of tonic water, a few lemons, <laughs> and I can't see any of that here, Robbo. This uh, place, STV, I'm, I'll look, at, I think it's a bit iffy. Uh, I'll, get you, I'll, I'll get you an iron brew and all will be forgiven, I'm sure, but uh, we can't wait to strap ourselves in here in the STV studios. Well, we're joined now by Mossy and Robbo. Guys, thank you very much for joining us on the Riverside Show tonight. Um, and you've even got your own Titan couch on the show because you have this in your online episodes, don't you? That's right. It's a big part of the following that we've had in Australia, um, largely around the athletics. And so, yeah, the Titan couch, we've been really building up to the Glasgow Games. And so everywhere we go, we take the Titan couch. It's great to be here. Perfect. Um, yeah, you've got a friend behind yeah, you. Well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is Jumpy. He's probably uh, the greatest mascot, we say, probably just in front of Clyde. <laughs> we had a great time in there with David and Jennifer on the tartan couch Mossy that was a huge hit but then from there we caught the cab over to Hamden and we saw the biggest queue of the games it was massive it Robbo was... and it was still it wasn't going anywhere no. it was probably five abreast yep. it was huge but we, got, we had a lot of fun there didn't we great great width and depth and breadth of and this queue yeah uh, loads going on and we had a lot of fun we spruiked it up we uh, you grabbed the program at one point started reading the program uh, I was spruiking up all the Aussies in action it was great we finally got in, and you know what we got in? We got the tartan couch in there as well. We weren't sure if it would get past security. We got it in, we pumped it up, we set it up, and there was the completion of a dream come true, basically, Mossy. From a concept that was born back in Newcastle, the Hunter Sports Centre, Robbo, here we are, Commonwealth Games, outside Hamden Park. Mossy, pinch me, I cannot believe it. All my dreams have come true. We're here, we're not quite at the end of the track, we're working on that but we're just outside the stadium here in the precinct, the Tartan Couch. It's a huge hit. Of course it is. This is where it all started, here a in Scotland. Absolutely. And uh, word on the street is that tomorrow, the Tartan Couch and Jumpy will be featuring at the end of the track. Well, of course it is, Mossy. It's Tartan Thursday tomorrow, and it's a tradition at every Commonwealth Games in Scotland that you get the Tartan Couch out on the track. We'll be interviewing Sally Pearson, Michelle Jenicky, all the Aussies, all the Scots. Jumpy will be there. Cannot wait. Probably won't sleep tonight. Oh, well, Robbo, all I have to say about this moment, I'm absolutely goosebumps everywhere. Mate, this is gold. No, Mossy, it's Hamden gold. The next event on the program is the women's javelin throw. Yes, and the women's javelin throw, that's what's bringing all the Aussies out tonight. Any track and field fan has come to watch the women's javelin. Tonight, folks, you will see Kim Mickle from WA, Perth, Australia, She'll be throwing the javelin out of the Hamden Park Stadium tonight. You'll see it live here on her way to gold. She'll be backed up by Catherine Mitchell, who may also challenge for gold from Ballarat. And Kelsey Lee Roberts is the other Australian in the field from Canberra. She's on her debut. Won't it be a great story when she secures the bronze medal, Mossy? Well, Robbo, we've been through the program. We're outside Hamden Park on the tartan couch. Why don't we duck inside to see what this is all about? Now... It could, it could have easily ended there, Mossy, the fairy tale uh, story. But 
it was time to go in. We got our tickets, in we went, and we watched a, a plethora of run, jump, and chuck action. It was a big day of jumping today, and Jumpy was particularly excited about that. Lots of long jumping and high jumping, also jumping some steeple in the steeplechase. But Mossy, javelin, women's javelin. We came into this. Part of my spruiking outside was gold, silver, bronze for the women, uh, Aussie women in the jav. Well, we got two of those three, a gold to Kim Mickle and a bronze to Kelsey Lee Roberts. And they are the toast of the nation this morning as they wake up here, there in Australia. We won't be sleeping. They're the toast of Hamilton here. And Mossy, uh, hard to top that. Gold medal uh, performance there. Mickle gold. Here we are. Kim Mickle's final throw. She cannot lose the gold medal from here. Here she goes. We're about to lose it. Kim Mickle, Commonwealth gold. Here she goes. Kim Mickle, she came here to Glasgow as the unbackable favourite. There she is. She's gone and done it. Won the gold medal. Kim Mickle, she'll be, she'll be celebrating in Scarborough Beach tonight in Perth, Western Australia. That's not gold. That's Mickle gold. Uh, but it got better, even still. Mate, uh, we're talking about Jumpy. I think we're talking about Jumpy. Let's, well, we've got to get to Jumpy. We had to get to him sooner or later. So uh, on the completion of the competition, we ran down with the coaches, Grant Ward and the other Australian coaches, and Kim Mickle was there, Kelsey Lee Roberts. Kim had the flag already, but she wanted Jumpy. She pointed him out. She said, he's coming with me. What could we do, Mossy? So we handed over the goods, and uh, on Jumpy went on a victory lap of the entire Hamden Park. Uh, quite unbelievable scenes, and I'm still now pinching myself that that even happened. Absolutely, and uh, Jumpy, last what I've heard is Jumpy was pinching himself, which means he's deflated. We're going to have to find him again. Oh, We're don't say those go. words. No, exactly <laughs> right. But yeah, uh, he, he had a chance to get out there on the track. and So yes, Mossy, Jumpy's had a huge day, and over on Twitter, I can tell you, he's now launched himself through the 100 followers mark. He's gone up to 118 followers, and I just want to share a particular tweet here. This is from uh, John Kinnaird at JK Fur Hill, and he says, at Jumpy Official, officially the coolest thing at Glasgow 2014. He definitely got into hashtag bring it on. And there's a lot, nice photo there of Jumpy uh, on his way around Hamden Park for the victory lap. Yes, well, Jumpy had a day out on the Mondo. Uh, we have to turn our attention, Robbo, to the Ginger Games. I bumped into a guy in the queue and he was a very good looking Redhead, uh, fellow ginger. His name was Lol, and uh, had a chance to have a bit of a chat. So I'm here at what we will say is the biggest queue in the history of the Commonwealth Games. We've got my man Lol here. Lol, mate, how long have you been a, a ginger? Well, all my life. Born how, it. How, how long is your life been? Uh, 19 years. So I've had to live with it for ages. Yeah. What was it like growing up uh, with ginger hair in the in the classroom? Well, I was the odd one out, always the odd one out, but there you go, you have to live with that, don't you? And have you played any sports growing up? Rugby. Played rugby? Yeah. What position? I was a prop, so I was the little fat ginger kid at the front <laughs> of the Oh, school. there's nothing worse than being the fat ginger with glasses. Well, exactly. Where you had everything covered It, it just wasn't going for me, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Mate, just a quick one, we're here, we've got the, at Hampton, we've got the biggest queue in the history of the world. Um, you know, what's been the vibe like in the queue for you? Uh, it's, it's been good, it's been good. Everyone's very friendly, so can't complain. Well, there's my man Lowell, he is today's Ginger Games Master. Well, there you go, Robbo. A prop. Great to catch up with uh, Lawrence, or Lol, as you mentioned, and... That's not gold, that's Glasgow gold. <laughs> and it's a massive uh, shout out to our executive producers, Y Leaf Town. Make sure you shop lo local, it boosts up all the economy in the local town. Now, Robbo, it's time for us to turn our attention to the gold medal tally. I'd like yes. to know how uh, everything's panning out. Well, Mossy, um, I can report that the, the one and only gold that Australia got today <laughs> was the one that we witnessed. And uh, there it is. There I'm going to. Do we get to uh, swap it uh, with Kim for Jumpy? Is that, that well? That might be the trade-off. Yeah. That might be the trade-off. So that's the medal. Uh, so that'll go in there. If Clyde will let us have it. Um, so yeah, that was it. Just the one today for Australia. Uh, but I can tell you, look, there's been a big change at the top of the the leaderboard, and England has jumped us. They're on 38 gold medals, 105 in total. Australia 35. Uh, gold and 106 in total. Now, are we um, sure that's not a typo? Are we sure no, that's not a typo? I checked it three or four times and uh, that's what's happened. So I said it was a day of jumping. Well, England's found out a way to jump um, us on the medal table. But don't despair, Mossy, because uh, we combine the two forces of Scotland and Australia. As we all know, 
uniting the two to create Scottralia, and we've still got those English covered. Uh, Scottralia, 48 gold medals, 145 total, and so we're, we're above the English there by 10. We've got a gap of 10. I think we're going to have to keep working harder. So Scotland and Australia, don't give up yet. We've really got to uh, work hard and keep those English at bay. Now, a man who has a chance to keep those English at bay in uh, further down the track, he will be uh, participating in the 4 by 400 metre relay for Australia. He's none other than Craig Burns. And as always, he uh, reads out some of his favourite lines out of the Robbie Burns history books. And uh, here's the favourite one of his for today. Oh, my lover's like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my lover's like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. As fair art thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love I am, and I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas gang dry. Well, Robbo, it never ceases to amaze me the power within that uh, Robbie Burns can have. No, it was good and it was great. We actually met uh, Craig Burns' mum today at the track. And, uh, and sister as well. And sister, yeah. And it's great. Uh, they've really supported the Burns poetry push and they have uh, decided they'll be having a Burns reading every night in the household back in uh, Logan, I believe. I'll tell you what, uh, my tummy's starting to grumble here, Robbo. I want to know what's on the menu for tomorrow because I'm, uh, I'm starving and I need to know where we're going to get some medals and in particular who we're going to get to watch. Well, Mossy, uh, on the back of Kim Mickle's gold today and the game's record, 65.19 metres, uh, we should mention, tomorrow there's some chucking happening and uh, it's Big Ben Harradine. He's coming out yeah, along with Julian Ruck. Uh, in the men's discus final. That's going to be great. Danny Samuels, the darling of the discus. She'll be in the preliminary rounds of the discus as well. But uh, a lot of finals taking part as uh, place as well, Mossy. Kurt Fernley, uh, he's got a bit of business to do. He's got Dave Weir to take down. He'll be teaming up with uh, Rich Coleman. And uh, Christy Dawes is also in the women's 1,500-metre wheelchair race. Uh, one of our sh the show's favourites, Brittany McGowan, a great Scottish-sounding name. We saw her progress through to the final uh, today in the Women's 800. So she's lining up in that final tomorrow. And Lauren Wells, uh, she'll be there as well. 400 hurdles, so running and jumping. That's going to be fantastic. Ella Nelson, uh, she's hopefully going to progress through. She's into the semis along with Ash Whitaker. Hopefully we can get her through to the final as well. Big apologies to Mrs. Nelson. Uh, we had a little accident today, Mossy, in the queue, heading into Hamden. I got a bit excited. She had her head in the wrong place, and we had a, a cheering accident, and she ended up with a pretty decent cut lip, blood going everywhere. So uh, very sorry to the Nel Nelson household. I know they're watching, um, and there's a big clan there. Is, is it true they actually had she missed her, her daughter's uh, debut she, the Commonwealth she, she had to get rushed off to the Glasgow Infirmary for surely, four stitches. Surely. Yeah, so uh, look, she, her daughter ran really well. So maybe it's a, a good sign, Mossy. But um, the final one as well, women's 100-metre hurdle. So Sally Pearson, uh, Shannon McCann from the WA8, and Michelle Jenicky. They'll be taking to the track. Can't wait to see them in action. Look, it's going to be hit after hit. Can we get some more gold? I think we can. Well, that's it for day seven. Looking forward to day eight as we'll hopefully rattle that can over there. The pot of gold looking for more gold medals for Scotralia. And it's a massive shout out to all of the team involved. For Kim Mickle, as she went out there tonight, made us all proud by winning gold. No, Mossy, that's not gold. That's Mickle gold. Will Mossy and Robbo top the gold medal chart for ratings? Oh, look, I think so. Um, yeah, that's been proven. Well, if you look online, Robbo, I don't have to say that, um, you know, Channel 10 numbers have been down, everyone yeah. back home, the uh, Twitter feeds are just lit up, and, you know, I think that um, the next broadcast rights deal they'll be looking at uh, for us to come out and uh, run the whole show, you know, well, across all sports. We've got the revolutionary uh, innovations, things like Jumpy Cam, um, that's going to be leading the charge. What about head, Headband Cam? Headband Cam, that's there as well. Uh, so, yeah, look, you know, we've outstripped Channel 10 and ABC Grandstand tonight. So I'd say we'll be top of the ratings end of the games. Uh, but yeah, folks, if you don't mind, we've got to go now. Um, it's been great. And yeah, thank you. We love Australia.